welcome to the Cinema Gold Show. I'm your host, Larry Lease. And on today's episode, we dive into The Walking Dead Season 9. Continuing our series, Dead on Arrival, First Timers Watch The Walking Dead. But first, we'd like to thank our sponsor, Rough Grains. I have to tell you about this incredible change I've seen in my own golden retriever, thanks to Rough Grains. Here's the deal. My dog was showing a bit of a slump and his usual enthusiasm at mealtime seemed to fade. Then we stumbled upon Rough Greens. It's like a nutrient-packed party right in his food bowl. And my dog can't get enough of it. His energy through the roof. His coat shiny like never before. That's the magic of the natural goodies and Rough Greens supplementing his regular food. So if you want your furry friend to experience the same jump in health as my dog, give Rough Greens a go. Your paw? Your paw putty? Buddy will love you, and that's a promise. Folks, it finally happened. The Walking Dead is watchable again. With the Negan storyline and the rearview mirror and a promising new status quo in place, the first three episodes of Season 9 are as strong as anything the show's done since the beginning of Season 4. The last few years have not been kind to The Walking Dead, as the war between Rick Grimes' rebels and Negan's saviors dragged out over two entire seasons, hemorrhaging viewers as it went. The two armies clashed over and over again, but save for the bloody Season 7 premiere, the conflict had no sense of forward momentum until it finally petered out earlier this year. The new season is a fresh start for several reasons. Angela King has taken over as showrunner, after Scott Gimple's promotion to head of the wildly ambitious Walking Dead extended universe. Longtime cast member Lauren Cohen's contract ended after season 8, leaving her free to sign on as the star of ABC's Whiskey Cavalier, and only appear in a handful of season 9 episodes. Most important of all, Andrew Lincoln revealed he would leave the show this season, meaning that the saga of Rick Grimes will be coming to a close. The loss of both Rick and Maggie is quite a seismic shift for the show especially considering the season 8 ended with the tease of Maggie starting her own conflict with Rick, who had spared Negan at the dying request of his son Carl. If you were concerned that the actor's departures would abort that storyline, don't be. Because the three episodes of season 9 provided for review act as if none of the principals were imminently departing. The season picks up several months after the conclusion of Wrath, with all the various communities working together to build a new society. While Rick and Michonne remain in charge of a rebuilt Alexandria, while Maggie has been duly elected as the leader of Hilltop, Daryl has been keeping an eye on things at Sanctuary, but he's starting to long for the freedom of being a lone wolf again. I've always argued that the Walking Dead could mine plenty of drama from trying to rebuild something resembling society, and the opening of Season 9 proves that's true. The communities are all ostensibly working together, but there's plenty of tension. Many people don't trust the surviving saviors. The saviors are resentful of being treated like an occupied nation. They're not allowed guns. On top of the shiny new direction, several little details of the show have improved as well. The premiere features a lengthy set piece in a new, unique location, and there are even some attempts at genuine, old-school zombie scares. Even better, these new episodes make an effort to give most of the sprawling cast something to do. There are new professions, new responsibilities, and new romances. And while the cast is too big for each character to get a moment, even over three episodes, we at least get a chance to check in with everyone. This keeps the episodes moving at a good pace, with little evidence of the go-nowhere wheel spinning past seasons have reportedly indulged in. Now this is still The Walking Dead, so things can certainly go south at any time. I doubt the show can resist the siren song of yet another evil human faction for long. And who knows what the show will look like once Rick and Maggie are gone. But for the first time in a long time... There is hope. So with this episode or with this season done, I'm gonna give it a grade of an A minus. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below on season nine of The Walking Dead. Have you watched it? Did you enjoy it? What did you think about it? Let us know. And as always, you can find us on Facebook and Twitter. Just search the Cinema Gold Show. And as always, if you want to support the channel, give us a thumbs up. Buy us a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash cinemagold. Hit that bell notification button to be notified of future videos. As always, thank you so much for watching and listening. We will see you next time.